My name is Kristen Connect, and I am president of Head, Shoulders, Teeth, and Tongue. And here uh, we are, myofunctional therapists who work with people who have been sent to us by dentists or orthodontists or chiropractors who have noticed that their patients aren't swallowing correctly or their teeth are crowded or they're complaining about poor sleep issues. They're not breathing well while they're sleeping, snoring, sleep apnea, maybe, um, or they are breathing loudly while they're sleeping or they're not able to sleep through the night. And once these dentists have taken a CT scan or a 3D x-ray of their patient's head and have kind of ruled out things like enlarged tonsils or a deviated septum, um, but see that maybe their tongue posture is incorrect or that their jaw posture is incorrect, then they'll probably send them to someone like me in order to get some training for their muscles. We're gonna retrain what their mouth is doing and I'm gonna send them through a series of exercises to see what they can or cannot do. Um, so I might have them point their tongue straight out at me like this. You see my tongue is pointed straight. It's not curving up or curving down, but I'm asking the person to point their tongue straight ahead and as pointy as they can get it and as still as they can get it and to hold it there for like 10 seconds. And if they can do that, then I know they've got pretty good control of their genioglossus muscle, which protrudes the tongue out of their mouth. If they can then bring it back in nice and smoothly, then I know they've got good control of their styloglossus muscle, which retracts the tongue. If they can move their tongue side to side nice and evenly without uh, moving their jaw or without moving other things or, or bringing their lips in, really stressing out uh, or or losing control, then I know that they probably have pretty good control of their hyoglossus or their palatoglossus muscles as those move the tongue side to side. Um, and I, and as well as the palatal pharyngeus, which supports everything. And then um, if, I, if they can point their tongue and flatten it and point it again, then I know they've got pretty good control of their transverse muscle. So just a few things that I'm looking for to see what muscles aren't quite working, what muscles are losing um, the ability to work. Maybe their tongue um, was able to do it at first, but they couldn't hold it for several seconds. And that means that their tongue is kind of fatiguing. And if their tongue is already fatiguing after a couple of seconds, you know what, um, what is this person experiencing as they use their tongue all day long to speak, to chew, to swallow, to rest? Um, and if um, a certain muscle is fatiguing faster than the others, then all the other muscles are going to have to try to compensate for that action and that, or that lack of action. And, um, and that's going to uh, turn into a problem because the jaw, um, if you think of the jaw muscles and the tongue as a tripod that um, connects the jaw bone to the skull and holds it in stability. So if a person's mouth is closed, um, then their jaw muscles are keeping their jaw um, closed to and in place when it comes to the head here, right? This jaw bone doesn't have, um, it articulates with the skull at the jaw joint. And then, um, and then the tongue should be resting on the roof of the mouth. It should be filling that whole space. In fact, I've got this little, um, little, I don't know, Anakin thing here. Um, and we can see that the muscles here, um, excuse me, the muscles right here, they are going to extend up the jaw and connect um, right um, at the skull, right above the jaw joint. And then there's other muscles. This muscle here, actually, it extends all the way down as well. And other muscles holding everything in place on either side but if the tongue is sitting low in the mouth, then that third leg of, leg of that tripod is actually not helping out. And so that is going to result in some jaw joint instability, which can result in strain on those muscles. And um, in physical therapy, we know that if muscles are strained um, because they're being used incorrectly or they're compensating for each other, then that is going to eventually probably cause pain. And so sometimes people will come in because they've got jaw pain. And so, um, and so I'm going to be checking for all of these things to see what they can do well and what they aren't doing well or what they can't do at all. And then we're going to work on strengthening those things and retraining their brain to do new habits and help them out that way. 